Dearest Fred, oh how I long to see you. Five days without your company is far too many days. I begin to do foolish things like sipping out of your teacup for any lingering taste of you. While out on my bicycle I have discovered a safe place where we can go if anything terrible happens. An abandoned cottage far out of town. It looks rather quaint. Last night I looked upon the dancing stars and wondered how many are hiding away beyond our view, hoping to be seen like the others. There is hope in me still that we too will be able to exist within sight. Until then, meet me at our spot at midday and remember your hat, Evelyn. So how did you enjoy my letter? It was certainly lovely. Although what you said about the stars made me feel rather sad. How so? Well, what would happen if the town knew of us? Why must we hide away? Oh, Fred, it's too dangerous. You heard those stories about those two women. They accused them of being witches or descendants of evil. We must be cautious. I simply do not understand how this could possibly be evil. I'm so sorry I have to go. I'm expected. It's not getting dark yet. Oh, don't whine, Freddy. You just have to wait for something to appear on your doorstep tomorrow. Are you forgetting something? <laughs> I'll race you to the end of the road. Wait for me. <laughs> Dear Evelyn, it has dawned on me that we have never spent any time together in the evening. I imagine you must glow under the firelight. Mother has sent me to bed early because I spoke of father. I think my mood shall improve if only you were here to tell stories as I drift away to sleep. Until then, come meet me after your chores. Devotedly yours, Fred. What is the meaning of this? Why is this girl calling you Fred? Is this because you lost your father? Why is she talking to you like this? I... Winifred, you know what this town is like. How dare you act in such ways? After everything I have done, to become a respectable woman in this town. After everything I have done to take care of us with your father not around. I, I'm sorry. Nobody knows about us. We aren't harming anyone and I'd never want to hurt you. It's just, I'm happy with her. Mother, I love her. Get out. Please get out of this room. I can't bear to look at you right now. Winifred! Did you finish that other book already? Oh yes. I'm so lucky this place holds such a collection. <laughs> what is that? Fred, look. That's... That's your mother. Do you know what this means? Her mother was like us. My mother was one of the two women in those stories. Oh my goodness. She must have been so afraid. That's why she was so angry when she found the letters. She was worried it would happen to me too. Would you like to write to her? I can go back and deliver a letter for you. I 
to it now. Perhaps we could go talk to her together. I can still write something in a letter if you'd like. I think I'd rather talk to her in person. Let's go home. Evelyn, how would you like to meet my mother? Would you girls like to come in for a cup of tea? We would love to. Like lemongrass and sleep. She tastes like apple juice and peach. Oh, you would find her in a Polaroid picture. And she means everything to me. <laughs> 